Oh no, it's clouded over. I am trying to dry a duvet on the line. I'm not sure that it's dry yet. And also two pillows so far and another one about to come out of the machine as well. How's it looking? It's looking like a pillow colour again. I have to say it was all yellowed, this one. But I'd say it's come out pretty well. This pillow that is empty to there and then it's all full of pillows. So how that's going to work out, I don't know. But, oh, I think I'm going to have to keep an eye on the weather and do a dash to get that in. Good, just about still morning it's my Thursday today I've been up since 8 30 done all my usual stuff I'm about to do more usual stuff which is practicing my flute down in the cellar which I'm not gonna film I'm quite pleased with how my duvets and pillows are coming out so far so far I've washed one duvet and three pillows two of which are out drying the other one is in the machine waiting to be dried I can't believe it I was so excited to have a bright day with no clouds in the sky this morning unfortunately that has all changed in no time at all oh do you know what i'm thinking though i'm thinking focus down now my music prep work get as much done as i can early on and then get all the rest of my sheets and pillowcases up give them a good look think about right which ones am i going to get rid of and what can i buy to replace it and then go to home bargains home bargains is quite a walk away for me in a dry day that would be pleasant however it's looking like it might actually rain so I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm thinking go bedding shopping later if I can get all my work done in time. But it's lighter in the evenings now, so possibilities for evening things are starting to open up a bit. Something has arrived in the post for me. Can you guess what it is? You might do if you watched a couple of vlogs ago. Oh, I need scissors. This has come earlier than I was expecting and I'm very pleased because it means I've got it in time for the weekend. If I can never get into it. Ta -da! It's my need for gigging, my new Jack to Jack. Oh yes six meters. Excuse the still drying bed in in the house, it's everywhere. Before this weekend's gig start, I am determined that I'm gonna sort out my gigging gear bag because it's just, it's inadequate. That's it, an open topped free bag that I got at an MU event one time. MU stands for Musicians Union, by the way, in case you didn't know. It's only a matter of time before I lose something out the top of it. It doesn't even seal. I was thinking, hmm, that's a good excuse to buy a new bag. But then I thought, hang on a minute, I have other bags. And actually the amount of gear that I've got now is much reduced in volume. So I might be able to get it all in there, which I'm not using. It was a camera bag, but, well, it's not a camera bag. I was using it as a camera bag, but I replaced it as soon as I could get one with more pockets. But it would probably do for my gear so I'm going to try that later but in the meantime I'm going to go and do my hour of practice and get that done and come up and speak to you again when I'm cooking my lunch so I haven't done my practice yet I just thought I'll quickly run out and get the stuff in from the garden because I think it might rain and then I've decided to take the freshly laundered one out and this is it it's not looking very pillow shaped at the moment but I have to say this was the one that looked really yellowed and it doesn't look yellow anymore I'm going to a little sniff Oh, nice, no, smells fresh. Well, if I could squish it back into shape, I think I'd feel happy about giving that to a guest. I am out of the cellar. I've done my hours practice. It went well. Ooh, and I just remembered what I got. Leftover pasta and green beans. So I'm sure I can very quickly make some sort of delicious concoction out of that. Oh, yeah. This is what's getting thrown in with it. Frozen sweet corn, some frozen sliced mushrooms, red kidney beans out of a tin, and some of these artichoke hearts that are left in here that definitely need eating. This is my chili cutting technique. I've snipped up the length of it, and I'm holding it over the pan, and I'm just doing that, because that way you don't get chili juice on your fingers, and then accidentally rub yourself in your eyes later. And I find it easy to get very, very tiny bits this way, because this chili is a beast. It's incredibly hot and I think that's going to be enough even for that whole pot honestly. Yes, I do cook with the seeds as well. I'm popping some ginger in as well. I think someone's ringing me. <laughs> yes, somebody was trying to ring me and it was my daughter. I did message her earlier and said don't forget to get your prescription today from the chemist. She's got to get one that's more local to where my dad is. I said make sure you go early on in the day because if there's a problem you'll still have some hours left of your day off to try and sort it out. Anyway, of course there's a problem. She's taken her prescription to the chemist for her antibiotic oral solution because she doesn't take tablets. Long story, involves vomiting. But anyway, um, uh, yeah, she took it there and they said, oh, there's a manufacturing issue. You probably won't get it anywhere. So I've advised her to go on Google, look up any more chemists that she could get to, either with my dad's help in the car or public transport, whatever her options are and ring ahead to find out if they've got it before she makes the trip, especially if it involves getting a train or a bus. 
Anyway, so that's where we're at with that. There we are, and I am going to put a bit of cheese on it. That was very, very fast to put together. And I deliberately made twice as much. I didn't hold back on adding stuff because I know that I can come in starving from my long walk and just eat it straight away. It's nearly three o'clock. I've been having more disruption. Before I tell you the bad news, I'll tell you the good news. My boyfriend doesn't have to work on Sunday, so I can do that comparing thing, so I've let the lady know. Um, anyway, Izzy's medication. Clarithromycin oral suspension. 250mg or whatever it is, out of stock everywhere in Cardiff. My poor long-suffering dad, thank you dad, has, on Izzy's behalf, because I don't know why Izzy's not doing it, but she's not, he's been ringing up every pharmacy going in Cardiff trying to track down this uh, oral solution. Can't find any. They're all saying, no, it's not being manufactured or something. I don't know, there's some problem. Anyway, I said, well, I bet they've got it up here. So I rang my local pharmacy and they said, yeah, and they double checked the strength uh, on you know the record of her prescription they said yeah yeah and I said is there any danger it'll run out before she gets it and uh, they said we'll put it aside for her they are gems at our local pharmacy you get such a lovely personal touch and they're so caring and nice so yay she's gonna get my dad to give her a lift I think that's probably the most likely but he is actually busy doing something right now it's probably not going to take him till seven though so I expect I'm going to get the family crashing in through my door at some point, but I'm still determined I'm going to home bargains, even though sky has now clouded right over and it's really windy. But I just, I've got it in my head. I want to go, I want to go and have a good, decent walk to it. I'll go with my rucksack, I think, just get little bits and bobs, maybe some sheets. But I need to actually do a quick recce of my bedding first. Look at the state of my linen cupboards. Do you know, I'll probably find loads of amazing things that I forgot I had in there now and, and find out I don't need anything from home bargains after all. But if I do, I'm going anyway. So I just really fancy an outing. I need to get my step. Excuse the mess. It's just, it's chaos in here at the moment. I need a good tidy up. It's too many weekends away gigging and coming back and dumping stuff off and not really dealing with it and just sort of leaving it there. <laughs> right. <sighs> What we got up here then? That's like a mattress protector. I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm gonna get stuff out and put it all on my bed and have a look. Right then, I've got it all out. <laughs> so these over here are fitted sheets for double mattresses. Well, I have a double mattress, so I've got two spare. Though I think that might be a th Oh no, we've got four, okay four of those so quantity wise we're all right however this is so worn and thin and it's like got ingrained dirt on it a lot of these i probably got in like 2001 when i relocated back to the uk again that's really thin and faded but i mean it's not ripped it is serviceable i've been hanging on to them because a lot of these don't actually fit on my double mattress because they've shrunk but they do fit on a single but then you have to kind of tuck them under a lot so i've been using them for guest beds you know over the years anyway so yeah i got four of those plus the one that's on there which is perfectly good by the way i don't even know what that is but it's got ingrained dirt all in it see a lot of these things i will have been gifted by people that are upgrading their bedding and i'll just have anything usually you know because i'm not fussy but it was only since having to provide the bedding for the guests that i realized how shabby it was and you know if you'd gone to a hotel and seen bedding like that you would not have felt at home in it these are just sheets this came from my childhood with my parents watching they'll recognize that <laughs> probably um, that have been gifted, that have been gifted, so they were second hand, you know, being updated. They're sheets, I don't really use sheets apart from, you know, as dust covers and things, I don't use them for bedding, but I don't really need to part with them. These are babyish and absolutely filthy pillowcases, as Doctor Who one and a wolf one, so really they're outgrown. That was gifted to me, matches with a duvet I might have it on now yeah I never have anything matching so that is really really thin but I love it I think it might be from the 70s that seems all right doesn't it these match the double duvets and nobody has a double duvet in the house I just really prefer to have single ones because they're just lighter and I find them more cozy that's a single that's all right but I think it's ripped now again it's gifted to me I think it's from the 70s these are my absolute favorites but they're just so filthy now I was like literally ashamed to give them to my guests so if you're ashamed to give them to the guests, isn't that a sign that they've had their day? Maybe it is. I'm not quite sure what to do with all this. Right, these are my thoughts. My thoughts are we're not likely to have more than four guests at once. Izzy likes one duvet under her because she always sleeps on top of a duvet in a cover with a blanket over her. And I like to have two duvets, two single duvets because I feel too cold with just one. So that's why I like to have two. So theoretically, we need enough duvets and covers 
four, five, six, seven. If we were to be at capacity and have four people all sleeping on the floor in the front room, which is not that likely to happen that often, but it might do for the next few years, I don't know. Um, right, so I'm gonna think about that number seven now. I mean, it could be six, because I'm sure Izzy doesn't need to lie on top of a duvet, but it's what she's used to, you know, she might not feel so cozy otherwise. Right, I've had a quick look in her room. The one she's got at the moment is the wolf one, which is absolutely filthy, and she's outgrown it. It's a wolf, like she's an 18 year old lady now. She does not want wolf bedding. I'm happy with these two that I've got on at the moment, because even though that one's a bit ripped, I just love how smooth it feels. <laughs> and my friend, and Veronica gave it to me and my friend Veronica gave me that as well and I, I associate it with her and I just like the pattern it's just so 70s that's inside out actually it's a lot more vivid but anyway so we said seven didn't we so that's one two three and then that's it then for single duvets because these are really they've had their day but I don't want to part with them until I've got something as cozy to swap them with <laughs> four five six seven so theoretically I could do with getting another four I don't think we have any single fitted sheets at all, actually. I'm wondering if I'm missing some, but I've looked through all the laundry and everything and I can't find any more. Just always use these double ones that shrank to go on the singles. I mean, if we do have sleepovers, I mean, if people are on mattresses on the floor, they're not going to mind these, are they, for sheets? I've decided what I'm getting. I've made a list. I'm just looking at it. Up to four single duvet covers, not necessarily all today, but eventually two times single fitted sheets for the two times mattresses that might go down there <laughs> and between two and four matching pillowcases because nothing will match so that's what i'm gonna do maybe not all today but let's go to home bargains whatever the weather is it's raining it's literally just started to rain <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> gonna get wet then. I really want to walk. I want a really long strenuous walk But just not for the sake of walking. I want a goal at the end of it. I really want to go to home bargains I want to go to home bargains. I'm having a little tantrum. I'm still going to home bargains anyway <laughs> Do you know what? It's not raining that much yet. I've got my umbrella at the ready But there's that lovely rain smell when it's been dry and warm and hasn't rained for a while and then it rains and there's I don't know, there's a kind of nice smell to it. Yay, I've done my walk. I've got my reward, which is home of the bargain. And I can't be that long, because apparently I've got Dad and Isabel coming to my house quite soon. And I think I might need to cook them some food, because poor old Dad has given up his time again to be Grandad's taxi. So I think it would be nice to make him some sort of food. So I won't be too long, but I need to find the bedding section. I think it's going to be this way, because look, I see towels. Good to get an idea of the prices. 29p for face flannels, look. And there's me hoarding them from years and years back, and yet they're so cheap to buy new. They've got clothes areas in here, 12 99 not entirely unlike my IKEA one. Now, my IKEA one was, I don't know, it was 80 quid or something. This doesn't look as substantial or as sturdy, but I have to say I absolutely love it. <laughs> After my trip out to St. Fagans with my mum the other day, I've been thinking about the clothes areas that are on a pulley, the wooden ones that you hoist up near the ceiling mum was saying in the video the hot air rises it's out of the way and it gets dried lovely and uh, a few people have said that they had them when they were young as well i was chatting to my boyfriend about it he reckons he could rig me one up oh, fridge storage thingies 2.99 where's the bedding then i haven't found it yet i found it i don't think the prices are too different to b and m actually so they've got duvet here king size what's that one 16.99 i think it's comparable 8.99 what's that 10.5 tog single duvet i like having two thin duvets because then if it's cold i can have two on but if i get a bit warm in the night i can just take one off and have it like you know it's like temperature control i don't believe this i've left my flipping list at home that i took the time to make let's see if i can remember what was on it i think i can i don't think i could cope with glow in the dark bedding i'd need my eye mask on to keep me asleep there's not a lot of choice actually this, this single fitted sheet is 4.99 which is navy and they also have a white one but other than that there don't seem to be any others what shall we have one blue and one white problem with white it's going to end up looking grubby again isn't it should i just get two blue oh, oh i don't know now i'll go for the white one pillows again we haven't got a lot of choice but it's two 49 for silver, mm, 2.99 for white. Right, I'm gonna get one of each, 2.99 for the white. And for silver. That just leaves duvet covers and nothing is jumping out at me right now from here. I'm not in an urgent rush to get it. I wanted to walk more than anything, honestly, today. So I won't be gutted if I don't get everything. The texture's just a bit too rough. I'm very particular about textures of bedding. Anyway, price-wise, the single duvet covers are 
a tenner. Look, nine ninety nine, nine ninety nine. There's a double there for twenty quid. <laughs> I love these giraffes. I have no use for one. They're uh, twenty nine ninety nine. I love them, but no, we definitely don't need one. Dad says get crumpets. I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to go back to the beginning again and have a leisurely, I don't know, ten minute stroll around. Actually, I've gone back in the bedding bit again because my daughter's still. She's woefully short of pajamas, you know. Oh no! Look, it's those cuffy leg bottoms again. She won't like them. I don't like them either. No, not for me. What about these then? 12 quid. I did buy a, a pair for her birthday, but she took it to my dad's because she said she didn't have any pajamas there at all. I don't know what she's been sleeping in, but that leaves her short at home again. These have got a lovely, lovely soft texture. I've chosen not these ones because they're so scratchy, like the glittery writing is scratchy and that is bound to be rough on the inside and with a history of sensitive skin, let's just avoid those. She seems to be all right with non-cotton these days though. Yeah, I'm gonna get them for her. I think she'll like them. Did you know that places like this do um, like compatible or will be electric toothbrush heads? You do, one ninety nine for two. I got some from Wilco's and I really like them. I'm not going to get these because the bristles are more widely spaced and I like the ones that are packed quite close together. I think they clean my teeth the best. Actually, I've been meaning to get myself a new toothbrush for IB's place for ages. I quite like these. I like the ones, as I say, with the really sort of densely together bristles. I don't like the wider part ones. I think these are the best of the bunch really, so yeah, I'm going to pop those in and that's £2.49. I've got very little lined A4 paper in my house. I keep using scrap paper instead, but there are times when I just want proper lined paper. I'm looking at these, I can't tell like if they're perforated for pulling them out, so I don't want it if I can't put it in a ring binder. Do you know what I mean? Teacher planner. Oh, I wonder if I could have done that as a home editor. I never had any planners. I just made my own really. I could never really see something that really quite exactly suited what I wanted. So I just, I don't know, I just had ring binders and things. I'm in the food section thinking how nice it would be to have a little snack to munch on the walk home. Chia seeds are a good price in here, £1.9, 200 grams. I think I'll have a can of Coke instead for my walk home. I've worked up a bit of a thirst. I'm not sure if Dad's crumpet wanting was actually a joke, um, but I can't see any. I'm going to pay now and go home quick before they get there. Well, I didn't get too wet, and when I arrived back, my dad and my daughter were sitting in the front room, and they had successfully got the prescription. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, so she can finish her course of antibiotics. That was a palaver. Thank you very much, Dad, if you're watching for that. So then I cooked them dinner and I got some tuna steaks out of the freezer and just cooked them from frozen. They, they were fine. So I pan fried those. Hash browns in the air fryer and some broccoli that I had in the fridge as well. So we had a nice balanced meal. Finished it off with some Swiss roll that was left over from Izzy's birthday. And all in all, it was very pleasant and a bit of bonus family time that we wouldn't have otherwise got. So there's always a, a, a silver lining to these clouds, I suppose. But anyway, they've gone now i need to get on and edit my vlog but thank you so much for watching this one could you please give it a like if you happen to like it subscribe down below to watch more videos from me and i'll see you in the next video one more thing actually one more thing a comment came in very recently as i'm filming this <laughs> um, that i didn't see earlier advising me against putting a duvet in the washing machine i have googled and i've got a big capacity machine and they were light ones and it, it should be okay but anyway that advice came in so I'm just going to share that in case you all rush and put your duvets in your washing machines and destroy washing machines because of me doing it. I've got an eight kilogram machine um, and they were very lightweight single duvets, not doubles and not king sizes, not queen sizes, just singles. And I definitely only did one at a time. Anyway, so I just thought I'd mention that in case it's a washing machine killer. Um, mine seems okay so far. Uh, but anyway, right. I, I better go. Bye.